And had it been up to the Justice Department, today's hearing in federal court wouldn't have happened at all. They sought to have it postponed, which Judge James Bradar refused to do. Plan B for the government, delay the signing of the agreement for at least 30 days. Justice Department attorneys expressed what they called grave concerns about the consent decree with the city to overhaul the Baltimore Police Department. But about 50 residents at a public hearing expressed their own grave concerns if that decree is not enforced, fearing systemic racism, abuse, and deadly force at the hands of police. I'm embarrassed that I didn't realize how broken our policing system is. And, and since then, like, I'm scared. I'm scared for my neighbors. I'm scared for myself. High school students wanted the court to hear of their negative encounters with police. My only crime that day was my skin color. And it's like people don't really realize that. Advocates for change told the judge without the consent decree, there will be no reform. Police department is structurally deficient to handle these types of incidences with race relations. And they have to have a mandate as well as oversight to make it actually happen. Attorney General Jeff Sessions ordered a review of all consent decrees, saying the federal government should not be managing local law enforcement agencies. Justice Department attorneys argue reform and crime reduction don't mix. Baltimore's decree was negotiated in the waning days of the Obama administration, following a scathing Justice Department report citing unlawful and abusive practices. It's in the judge's hands right now, and the judge can rule whenever the judge determines it's appropriate. The NAACP Legal Defense Fund filed a motion today in federal court in an effort to ensure the consent decree is accepted by the court and fully implemented. Two years ago, it was that very group, along with clergy and others, who asked then-President Obama to open a civil rights investigation into the Baltimore Police Department following the death of Freddie Gray. Live in the studio, Deborah Wiener, WBAL-TV 11 News.